Hello all back again, just a quick video showing you the uh, new method of installing Open Media Vault on our Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we do, we go to the uh, where I the Raspberry Pi website, and I'm going to go to Downloads, we want Raspbian, just scroll down, we want Raspbian Buster Lite, and Download Zip. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm gonna cancel that and I'll just close that window down. Right, once that's downloaded, we're gonna use a bit of software called Etcher to burn the image. So I'll just start that up. I'll select the image, so just go to where you downloaded it. So Raspbian and Buster Lite, just double click on it. It will pick the right SD card normally. And then click flash. And it'll start burning the image to the SD card, which uh, doesn't take too long to do. And uh, that's all done. And it normally takes a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your SD card. So I can uh, shut that down. Right, before we can do anything, unplug the SD card from your PC. And then plug it back in again. Uh, just cancel that. I'll just go into my computer and there's the SD card. We need to add a file to the image so we can uh, SSH into the Raspberry Pi. So just right click, go uh, new text document and type SSH. Thing we need to do as well is remove everything after SSH. So you want to remove TXT plus the dot. So you've just got SSH and click enter and click yes. And that's done. I'll just close that down. Now you can unplug the uh, SD card from your PC and plug it into your Raspberry Pi for the first time and turn on. Right, thing we're going to do now is log into the Raspberry Pi using a bit of software called Putty which is uh, free, I'll oh, just open Patty. Thing we do, we log into the Raspberry Pi via its IP address, and you can find this by looking in your router settings, or you can use a bit of free software called Advanced IP Scanner. I'll put a link in the uh, description. Uh, the IP address of my Raspberry Pi is 192.168.1.138. So you just type that in hostname, and then you click Open. We'll get this uh, box uh, open up, so you just want to click yes. I'll just move that to the center. Login is Pi, and then Raspberry. We're logged in. Thing I'm going to do first is change the password for the Raspberry Pi. You don't have to do this, it's just something I do. So it's P A double S, oh, hasn't done the P. P A double S and then W D. Just click enter. You just type Raspberry again. Click enter and then enter your new password. Click enter, then just retype it again. and click enter. Right, that's done. Just remember to remember that password because we're going to be using it again later. Right, first thing I'm going to do is update the Raspberry Pi. So we use sudo app update first. So I'll just copy that. Just right click to paste it in or you can just type it in, it's up to you. And then press enter.
Right, that's the first bit done. Now we're going to do a sudo app full upgrade. I'll just copy that, or you can just um, type it in. I'll just right click and press enter again. Now it'll run the update. This can take a few minutes to do. So I'm just going to click Y for yes, and then click enter on my keyboard. So I'll just let this run, and I'll most probably fast forward through this bit. Just press uh, Q on your keyboard. And it'll start doing the rest. Right, that's all done. Thing I recommend doing now is uh, rebooting the Pi. So you just want to do sudo reboot with S U D O and reboot. And just click enter on your keyboard. Just close that and close that. Just going to wait now for the Raspberry Pi to start up again. Right, I'm going to open up Putty again. And you type in the host name again, but I've got it saved. So I'm just going to load it. So it's 192.168.1.138 on mine. But yours will most probably be uh, different. So I'll just click open again. And re-log in. So it's Pi. Click enter. And if you change the password, use a new password. But if you didn't, just use Raspberry. And click enter. Right, the new way of uh, installing Open Media Vault is via a script. So I'll put a link in the description. So I'll just go to GitHub. I'll just scroll down. And this is the script we want to use. So I'll just highlight it. Right click and uh, copy. Just minimize that. Just right click to paste it in. Then press enter on your keyboard and it'll start installing. This can take about, I don't know, five to ten minutes to do. It can take a while. So uh, once it started, or once it started to get going, I'll uh, fast forward through this part. That's uh, Open Media Vault installed now. So I can uh, close down Putty and click OK. Now all you need to do is uh, open your web browser and uh, type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi again. So mine is 192.168.1.138. And just click enter. Uh, username is uh, admin in uh, lowercase. And your password is open media vault, all lowercase. And uh, just click login. So that's uh, open media vault installed. Right, I'm going to show you one little step, well, a little extra step, if you're going to uh, install Plex. So the thing you need to do is scroll down on the left, and you'll see User. Because otherwise you can't shush your SSH into the Pi to install Plex. So you've got Pi here, just left click to highlight it. And then click Edit. Then you want to go to groups, scroll down until you see SSH, which is there. 
just tick the box click save then click apply then yes You don't have to do this if you're just using the open media vault as it is. But if you need to install Plex, you want to do that step. Otherwise you can't SSH into the Pi to install Plex. Right, so that's all done. And uh, as always, I hope this video's helped and uh, Goodbye.